Oh yeah, Rivers here with Tech Connect. And today I wanna to show you my favorite new program. It's called Adobe Dimension. It's this guy right here. What it is is a 3D modeling program that ray traces, which is uh, it maps all the light and where it bounces off and how, it, so it looks really, really real. And this is actually a, a model I made of my YouTube studio set. So here's the original right here. And then it lets you take in textures from the uh, from wherever and bring them into the digital world. That's one of the coolest things. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. So over here, uh, we've got the set. If you were to zoom out, you could see it's basically just little boxes. And then you've got back here, this is how I made the view. I upgraded the view. My neighborhood doesn't look anywhere near like this good. So uh, the cool thing about this guy is it's really easy to use, especially compared to something like Blender. This guy is so much easier to use. It gives you all these pre-made materials, which Blender you kind of have to make your own or find out tutorials or find them. Uh, but this one, it comes with a bunch of them, pre pretty much everything you need to get started. And they look really realistic. So we can add this material to this Buddha over here. So you can see all the reflections of everything in the room. If this was like, let's say, make this uh, the silver one. You can see all the lights in the room, you can see the couch, you can see it reflecting off this jar. Everything just looks really realistic with this. Now let's go ahead and go back to the uh, non-real-time rendering so that it can move faster. And here's the other reason I really like this. It lets you import pretty much anything from the outside world into here and make it look, uh, you know, you can imitate the real world but get a digital version of it. So here's my painting that I did that's up on the wall in the studio. It's just like a stamp you basically put over the top of the picture and then you can just put it onto any surface really and you've got your picture from the real world into Adobe Dimension. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you've got different lighting setups here so I could make this like a, you know outdoors, daylight, different lighting that you want. And then this is where you can insert just JPEGs into the background instead. So I think this is kind of for like commercial artists. Maybe they want to just import a digital image into a still picture. Here's the same room, I just imported these digital balls in there and they look pretty realistic. It captures where the light's coming from and everything pretty good. Um, or maybe somebody wants to make like a bottle and then put their logo onto it. I think that's what they're targeting, but I just like it because it lets you make like really realistic looking images. So maybe I'll render out this picture right here and we can see how it turns out. So we'll go ahead and uh, render this. Now this program is pretty demanding. I've got a Threadripper 16 core and when we get started on this, it will be taking like every bit of this uh, power of the processor to do it. It'll still take it like five minutes to get a decent looking image. So here you can see it's going full on. Also, I have a GeForce 1080 in this computer and there's GPU acceleration, but it's in beta and anything more complicated, it doesn't really work with. So um, I use the CPU rendering and it, it uses all the cores. So there just got the basic render now. You can see what it kind of looks like. And then as we go, it will get better and better looking until eventually it looks, you know, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we'll come back when it's all done being rendered. Okay, we just finished up the rendering and it looks really good now. It smoothed out all the little staticky spots here. But yeah, this is what the finished product looks like. And it uses quite a bit of CPU power. I'd say it took about mm, 10 to 15 minutes to get this done. But it looks really good. Like there's no static left. Um, I'll show you some of the other pictures I've done too here. Here is a bedroom scene that I did I, uh, right before this one. I thought it looked pretty cool. And just, you know, some of the stuff I made, I bought, but I got these uh, Creative Commons models, the bed, this round chair. I made this, this end table, um, my painting again, the lights. I made all the lights and the stands and the lamp and all of that. And here's one that I did before that. My, another one of my paintings. See if we can see what those look like. Oh, I guess we can't. I made uh, this one with just paintings up against the wall and I actually made this based on a real picture and then uh, wanted to make it see how good a job I could do with uh, imitating a real picture. I had one painting against the wall in the real picture. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave down in the comments if there's uh, any questions you have or if you'd like to see tutorials on any of this or uh, what you liked. And if you'd wanna see any of these other uh, pictures in 3D, Thanks for watching and as always, aloha.